guys, so today I have swatches of the OPI Peru collection for fall 2018. There are 12 polishes in the Peru collection, and then I also have the three Ulta exclusives and three, I'm out of breath, Sally's Beauty Supply Store exclusives. So the 12 from the actual Peru collection came from polishpick.com, so I will link that website down below. And then obviously the Ulta ones came from Ulta and the Sally's ones came from Sally's. So 18 polishes all together and I will get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Machu Picchu and this is described as just a soft peach. So this one is actually really opaque on the first coat. Looking at this polish in the bottle, I was expecting it to be way more sheer than it is. It does still have some streaks and some lighter spots. It's definitely not a one coater, but I was really pleasantly surprised with the opacity. And really good formula on this one as well. So this one does cover completely in two coats. That first coat did dry a little bit more sheer than it applied. It was just more streaky than me being able to see the nail line on the first coat, but after that first coat fully dried, the nail line is a lot more obvious. Not like that makes a huge difference, because you're going to want two coats anyway. So that is two coats of Machu Picchu. The next polish is called Somewhere Over the Rainbow Mountains, and this is, the OPI website just describes this as rosy. A rosy nail polish hue. I would say, there's like a fuzzy or cat hair on it, I would say this is a kind of like dusty, very pinky nude. So this is another one that's very pleasantly opaque on that first coat. Even though I feel like nowadays when you get colors like this, they perform pretty well almost no matter the brand unless they're like intentionally very sheer. But it's almost like I've been scarred and I just expect them to disappoint me whenever I see lighter, nudie pink shades like this. Formula on this one is really good as well. So this one does cover completely in two coats. I do feel like it dries just a little bit darker than it applies, and it really wasn't too bad on that first coat. It's still definitely a two-coater, but I just barely had a little bit of nail line, and most nails were pretty even, too. So that is two coats of Somewhere Over the Rainbow Mountains. The next polish is called Seven Wonders of OPI, and this is a lighter, slightly pinky purple. On um, the OPI website just describes this as mauve. So this one is also pretty nicely opaque on that first coat. I do feel like it's a little bit more sheer than the other, than the first two were, but not by much. It should still be totally fine in two coats. And good formula on this one as well. This one feels just slightly thin, but not so thin that it makes it bad. So this one does cover completely in two coats. And this is another one that does seem to dry just a little bit darker than it is when it's wet. And so far all of these have dried pretty shiny. They're all cream polishes, so that's not super surprising. So that is two coats of Seven Wonders of OPI. The next polish is called Don't Toot My Flute, and this is described by OPI as just a lilac shade. So this one, I think, is probably the most sheer so far. And I did put a lot of polish on that nail. I'm trying to thin it out a little bit. Still not bad, though. Definitely some light spots. It's definitely a bit uneven. But it does cover enough that it should be fine in two. And good formula on this one as well. So this one does cover completely in two coats. And aside from the Ulta and Sally's Beauty Supply exclusive polishes, I am trying to move roughly from lightest to darkest here. So the main 12 polishes won't be getting any lighter than they are right now, which is nice to know because we've, so far we've had all solid two coaters. So now if I remember correctly from my swatches, a couple of the exclusives are more than two coaters. But I think we're going to do pretty well on the main 12 of the collection. So that is two coats of Don't Toot My Flute. The next polish is called Alpaca My Bags, and this is described by OPI as just a blue-green. It has a little bit of a slate, slate-ish feel to it for me. So this one is almost like bordering on jelly-ish, still fairly opaque, but it definitely has that little bit of a squishy look to it, at least on one coat. 
definitely have some lighter spots or some bald spots, however you want to word it, and some nail lines showing, but the formula is pretty good. What? So this one does cover completely for me on two coats, completely ignoring everything I said in the last swatch because I totally forgot that this one was a little bit more jelly-ish. I think depending on your application and depending on the whiteness of your nail line, you might end up needing three for this one. I don't think it's super likely, but I could see where it could happen. So that is two coats of Alpaca My Bags. So the next polish is called Suzy Will Catch You Later, and this is, OPI describes it as rose tinted, but this is just a nice like medium pink shade. This is another one that's very nicely opaque on that first coat. Shouldn't have any issues with this in two. A few light spots, not a ton of nail line showing. And good formula on this one as well. This one feels a little bit thicker than the rest of the collection so far, but not too thick at all. So this one does cover completely in two coats. And you can see it does dry a bit darker than it is when it's wet. And because this polish is a little bit thicker than the other polishes in the collection that I've swatched so far, you do have a few almost ridges when you first apply it, but those level themselves out really well. So that is two coats of Suzy Will Catch Will Later. So the next polish is called Lima Tell You About This Color, and OPI just describes this as pink. This is a much warmer pink than the last one, which you can see is definitely more on the cool side. So this one also covers pretty well on that first coat. It's a little bit streaky. What is that little like, black dot? And a bit sheer, but it should build up fine in two. I will say I'm pretty happy with the formulas in this collection so far. Because anything that's a nice, easy two-coater makes the whole process of the video so much faster. So this one does cover completely in two coats. I can definitely see, though, where depending on your application, you might need three to cover up some dark spots. I'm having to be a little extra careful to make sure that I don't have any. And this one also seems to dry just a little bit darker than it applies. Oh, and I should probably mention, what I'm doing to try to avoid those dark spots is I'm doing, like, the least amount of brushing possible, and I'm making sure that I'm just floating my brush over the top of the polish like over the top of the nail a little bit more than I would in a normal polish. I'm not pushing hard and I'm trying to touch the brush to the nail the least amount possible. So that is two coats of Lima Tell You About This Color. The next polish is called Grandma Kissed a Gaucho and this is, I gave up on the OPI website, this is a very grapey purple. This one, this is another one I forgot about, this is very 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 jelly. So it is very sheer on the first coat. It is even, which is nice, but it is extremely sheer because it does have that kind of squishy, jelly finish to it. And a good formula on this one as well. So this one is building up on that second coat. I am going to do three. I think this is the first three coater because it is so jelly-ish that it is still a bit sheer in two coats. And this dry is very shiny because it is a jelly and it has that I hope you'll be able to see with that third coat. It has that kind of like squishy look to it, even when it's opaque. So this one does cover completely for me on three coats. I was wondering if it was going to, but the difference between two and three coats is pretty big. And like I said before, this does dry very shiny, and hopefully you can see that just kind of squishy look that it has. So that is three coats of Grandma Kiss to Gaucho. The next polish is called My Solar Clock is Ticking, and this is a really cool kind of like dusty red, orange, pink. I can't describe this one. Oh, let's see what OPI says. OPI says this is burnt red. So this one is really opaque on that first coat. Let me take a good look at this nail here. I'll probably end up doing two. This is nice and even, but I can still see a little bit of my nail line on that first coat. Good formula on this one as well. So this one definitely covers completely in two coats. And that second coat does deepen the color a bit as well, but it was really close to opaque in one. And this one also dries pretty shiny. So that is two coats of my solar clock is ticking. 
And the next polish is called I Love You Just Be Cusco. And this is, actually this is probably what I would describe as a burnt red. And, and putting it next to my solar clock is ticking makes this one look very, very pink in comparison. So this one covers really well on that first coat. It's not jelly like the purple polish was, but it does have a little bit of a jelly-ish kind of feel to it. I can still see a bit of my nail line, and I definitely think that one more coat is going to deepen this quite a bit. And really good formula on this one as well. I am thinning the coats out a little bit. I'm finding that with this polish, the amount that you get on the brush from dipping in the bottle is just a little bit too much, at least for my nails. So this one does cover completely in two coats. And you can see that color gets much darker. And this polish actually dries pretty shiny, which I'm going to give credit to the slightly jelly-ish finish for that. So that is two coats of I Love You Just Be Cusco. The next polish is called Como Se Llama, and this is another one of those, like, kind of slightly rusty, orangish, burnt red shades. This one is just a lot darker than the last one. So this one is a little bit sheer on that first coat. Another one that has a slightly jelly-ish quality to it, but not so much that it's going to stand out once it's opaque. But a second coat is definitely going to deepen that color. Good formula on this one as well. I go extra slow with reds and dark colors because I am so paranoid about getting it on my skin and then having red cuticles for the rest of the video. So this one does cover completely in two coats. You can see that that second coat makes the color quite deeper. Quite deeper? I don't think that's how that works. Much more, much, much deeper. <laughs> don't want to say more deeper. Okay, and this also dries pretty shiny. Quite a bit deeper. Got it. So that is two coats of Komoseyama. So the next polish and the last of the 12-piece Peru collection before we get into the exclusives is called Yes, My Condor Can Do, and this is a really dark, like, reddy purple. So this one is pretty opaque on that first coat. It is a bit streaky, and these kind of colors have me so paranoid because I have to do lighter colors after this for the exclusives, and I don't want everything to look stained. Good formula on this one as well. So this one does cover completely in two coats. You can see it gets much, much deeper. This is a very, very dark color, but I don't think it's so dark that it would be confused for black. So that is two coats of Yes, My Condor Can Do. Now these next three polishes are exclusive to Sally's Beauty Supply. They are, I've not been into a store, but they are on the website. They are in a separate, like a separate section of the website, like a separate listing with just these three colors. I'm actually, I was looking at it earlier and actually didn't see the Peru collection on there at all. I just saw these three. So the first Sally's Beauty Supply exclusive is Take a Hike on the Inca Trail, and this is a very light peachy nude. So this one is a bit sheer on that first coat. It's not terrible for being a light color, but it is a bit sheer. It's a bit streaky when you first apply it as well, but a good number of those streaks do kind of level themselves out pretty quickly. The formula on this one is pretty good. It feels a little bit thin, but not, I wouldn't say it's too thin just yet. So this one is building up on that second coat. I'm gonna take a good look at it after I get this on here. I can still see a bit of my nail line, and I do have a few streaks, so I'm going to do a third coat. And this one does dry pretty shiny as well. So this one does cover completely in three coats. I just had a few... well, now that the, actually that the second coat is dry, they were a bit more obvious. But I had a few streaks that I wanted to cover up on that second coat, but I think depending on your application, you might be able to get away with two. So that is three coats of Take a Hike on the Inca Trail. The next polish is called You Crossed the Nazca Line, and this is a dustier pink shade. And this one is also pretty nicely opaque, just a little bit sheer, but it should build up just fine in two coats. And a really good formula on this one as well. So this one does cover completely in two coats. 
And it is another one that seems to dry just a little bit darker. Why do I keep doing that? I never lift the brush far enough off, and it's always my middle finger too. Never lift the brush far enough off my middle nail to not like jam it into the end of my nail when I come back. And this one also dries pretty shiny. So that is two coats of You Crossed the Nazca Line. And the last polish for the Sally's Beauty Supply exclusives is called Spice of Peruvian Life. And this is a actually pretty bright pinky coral shade. So this one is a bit sheer on that first coat. Not terrible though. I can see my nail line and I do have a few streaks. The formula on this one is just a little bit thin for me. Again, not terrible. I wouldn't call it bad, but I do feel like if you do too thick of a coat, it's going to run and kind of gather on the sides of the nail. So this one does cover completely in two coats. It's hard to tell on camera because it is such a bright color. I can see, or depending on your application, you might need three for this one to cover up some dark spots because I am like really pushing the need for a third coat right now. And this definitely dries darker than it applies. So that is two coats of Spice of Peruvian Life. So the next three polishes are all exclusive to Ulta Beauty stores and um, online. I actually got mine online. They were in the listing with the regular Peru collection, so I had to kind of cross-check the names to see which ones were part of the normal collection and which ones were not recognizable. However, on the Ulta website right now, they only have nine uh, Peru polishes in stock, and those look like they're about 50. Oh, it's a sale right now. That's why they're 50% off. There's only nine in stock right now, and none of them are the exclusives. So the first polish here is called I Archaeologically Dig You, and this is another peachy nude shade. Uh, here it is next to Take a Hike on the Inca Trail, the Sally's Beauty exclusive, so you can see they are pretty close. And then furthering that, here it is next to Machu Picchu. Lots of peach going on. So while this one is really similar to the Sally's Beauty Supply exclusive shade, this one is considerably more opaque. It seems to cover a lot more evenly. And a good formula on this one as well. So this one does cover completely in two coats. And this is another one that seems to dry just a little bit darker than it applies. And while the shades aren't identical, I do think the formula on this one is much better than the comparable Sally's Beauty exclusive shade. So that is two coats of I Archaeologically Dig You. So the next polish and also an Ulta Beauty exclusive is called Andean Culture Club. And this is a kind of like taupey gray. Like it looked really gray to me the first time I looked at it. And now I'm looking at it and it's definitely leaning more taupe. So either I'm crazy or it's a little bit of a shape shifter. So this one is just a little tiny bit streaky on that first coat. But it does cover pretty evenly. I can see my nail line through it a bit as well. Good formula on this one, and now on my nails it looks like even more taupe than it did before. So this one does cover completely in two coats. I do feel like it dries just slightly darker than it applies. And it's not like the shiniest polish ever once it's dry, but it's pretty good. Now that nail right there, actually, I'm going to try to fix this. I had a much thinner coat on that one than any of the other ones, and I had a few... Yeah, bald spots there. It's like dragging, dragging the polish off of the nail if I go over it one too many times. It's a little bit of trouble with that one. So that is two coats, maybe two and a half over here, of Andean Culture Club. And the last of the Ulta exclusives and the last of these 18 polishes is called Ayahuasca Made Me Do It. And this is a kind of like sage green. So this one is a little bit sheer on that first coat. It's definitely not like fully jelly, but it does seem to be maybe a little crelly-ish. I think it should build up fine in two coats though. And good formula on this one as well. So this one does cover completely in two coats. And if you can't find these like in Ulta stores, I don't have an Ulta like anywhere near me, so I don't go hardly at all. <laughs> I am hoping that they will be restocked, that the collection and the exclusives will be restocked maybe after the big sale is done going on because I really like this color and it's going to be a bummer if it was available for such a short amount of time. So that is two coats of Ayahuasca Made Me Do It. 
So my favorites are alpaca my bags, um, mainly because this is one of the only ones out of the main 12 that's not like pink. I took issue with the sameness in the OPI Fall Collection and in the Zoya Fall Collection this year. So I do like this because it's one of the only ones that's different. And then, oh lord, let me try to Google how to pronounce this. And then Ayahuasca made me do it. I also really like, again, because it is different. This is an exclusive, and I think it's an Ulta Beauty exclusive, but for some reason I cannot in my head, like I cannot remember which polishes from this collection are exclusives and which the exclusives, like what store the exclusives go to. I will put a note over here if I'm wrong. I believe it's an Ulta Beauty exclusive, but these are just not sticking in my head right now. So those two out of the 18 are going to be my favorites. So that is the OPI Peru collection for fall 2018. Again, I will link polish pick dot com down below where the 12 core polishes came from. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will talk to you later. Bye.